So we've been putting a net into the water with a four meter squared mouth uh, all over the cafe. So at various points in the cafe to try to quantify small swimming animals, two to 20 centimeters long, and they have amazing adaptations to life in regions of the open ocean, and I'm going to walk you through some of my favorites. The first critter I've selected is called a lanternfish. It's one of the most common vertebrates on the planet. All lanternfishes are covered in part by these light organs called photophores. So as they swim in the ocean, these light organs located on their bellies emit light and eliminate their shadow, making it very difficult for predators swimming under them to look up and see potential food. This is a hatchet fish, and its belly is also covered in those photophores, but my favorite thing is that it has vertically oriented eyes. Its eyes are stuck in the upward position, and they're constantly searching in the waters above it for prey that may be casting a shadow, uh, making it easier for them to hunt. This lovely slender creature is a type of bristlemouth called diblophos. Um, and it has many, many photophores all over its belly. I think it's just quite pretty. And it, again, lives in low light waters and uses those lights to eliminate its shadow. This red beauty is a type of shrimp called a mycid. Uh, these are deep dwelling species. You can tell by their red color. There isn't any red light at depth, so they appear black. And we can tell what type of shrimp it is because the carapace, this front part of its body, is only attached to the head. So the back is free and the body can swing freely. This plastic looking ribbon is actually the larva of an eel. And transparency being sort of affords invisibility to many different critters um, in the open ocean and light passes right through them and it's a great camouflage strategy and we're interested to see what are the micronectin here and what are their vertical distributions during the day. So could the distribution of micronectin help explain the behavior of sharks in the cafe?